Hello and welcome guys. Um, so today we're just going to do a simple algorithm problem puzzle thing. So we're going to do a binary to decimal uh, algorithm for JavaScript without using parsint. Uh, so right here I've created all the test cases that we're going to use. And uh, you can use parsint which will give all of these correctly except for the very last one because uh, this is um, not a zero or one digit because it has a two in it. So it'll give an invalid input <coughs> or invalid output. But the normal shortcut in JavaScript to do a binary to decimal conversion is using parsint with the base of two. And if we just run the, the function as it is, we'll get all the valid stuff. So we get one, two, nine, 11, 28, not a number, and one. And the last one is incorrect. <clears throat> so we're actually going to, uh, what's the word, create an actual algorithm that will give the correct uh, thing. So the first thing we're going to want to do is, uh, you can see that it could take in either a number or a string. So the first thing we're going to do is convert both of those into strings. So. I'm just going to do const input equals to a string of string and const binary equals to the string of string. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Now, uh, the reason why I have two variables here is we're going to compare the links. So I'm going to split this. Uh, so this is now binary is now an array. Of strings which with each index as a character and we're just gonna do a filter here to get rid of all the non-valid digits so we'll just do I um, equals to one or I don't like this keyboard I need a better keyboard um, equal to zero and we'll just do it if here uh, if input dot length is where's my equal signs to binary dot length we'll return um, invalid input <clears throat> so uh, this last part is still parse int so with that we'll get the um, the desired outputs so we get all the correct conversions and invalid inputs for both of these invalid ones. But now we're going to replace parsint with an actual um, algorithm. So I'm going to first do it using a normal for loop. So we're going to do let result equals to 0. And uh, what is this? Um, so let's do a normal for loop here. So let's see, I uh, let i equals to zero. I is less than what's the array or string binary dot length and i plus plus stop. So that's the for loop. Um, so. Uh, so now is where you should actually understand how binary works. So it's going to be, we read, um, what's it, right to left, and each digit is going to be multiplied by the exponent of the, of that, uh, what's that called, that tens place, I believe you would call it, the, the digits place. But the exponent is going to be a base two, because... I mean that's that's why it's called binary, so base two. So um, for one, it's just one to the power of one, which is one. And for this one, it's gonna be zero to the power of two, or zero to the power of one, plus one to the power of two. And the exponent of that is uh, 
two. Okay, that was that was wrong. Um, this first one is to the zero power. This one is to the, the first power, and so on. But without um kind of boggling out the actual or without reversing the the string or the array, we're gonna go the other way. So we're gonna read it left to right. So we're just gonna do um to the power of the length minus the actual index. So I hope that makes sense. Um so result is gonna be the sum of all of that. And first we're gonna get the actual um, number at the index. So this is binary at the index of i. And we're gonna multiply it by the power of the length minus the length minus the index. So it's gonna be um, we're gonna use math.pow to get the power. And the first parameter is the do, 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 the base. And the exponent base is gonna be base two because that's the binary powers. And the second parameter is the actual index. So we're gonna do um, binary dot length minus one, and that'll give us how the like the place or the that'll give us the actual length of the um, binary number, and we're gonna also minus the index. So this will be the the length the uh, the exponent of length, and then length of one. And then so on and so on until we get to the zero power over here. Um, hopefully that makes sense. And duh, duh, duh. <clears throat> so that for loop should work. And if we just run it again, uh, this time it's not using parse int. It's actually returning the result here, which will give us exactly what we expect. So we get one, two. 9 and 11, 28. And then now, just to be fancy, we're going to, instead of using a for loop, we're going to do the array reduce function. Yeah. So this is going to be binary dot reduce. Um, we're going to give the default value of 0. Is it the default value? The starting value. And we have accumulator, as well as the actual index. And this is accumulator plus equals to number of, oh wait, we actually need the link here. So it's going to be number is binary. No, it's going to be i times math.pow of 2 length minus 1 minus the actual index. Is that how it works? Let me see. The callback function, current value, current index. And then the array. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So... This is index, and then this is the array. This is the current value, so I'll rename these things accordingly. So we want the number of the current. We also want array.length here, minus 1, and minus the index. And that should give us the reduce function that's correct. So we get rid of this. And, and we just add a return here. And let's see if that reduce function works correctly. Undefined, undefined. Hmm.
the accumulator. Oh, we're not returning the accumulator. That's why. Can't spell return. All right. Um, I don't want to use plus equals here, so I'm just gonna. Do this instead. So we're gonna. Oh my god. Come on. Let's see, how do I do this? Um, let me get rid of that. Add return here. And let's get rid of that. Let's try that again. There we go. <clears throat> so that's how you change the for loop into just a return. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. All right, so there's your binary to decimal conversion using an actual um, algorithm instead of just parse it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, I will see you guys next time.